So big data is aimed at serving a community of data scientists working in the area of social mining. So aimed at developing methods and experiments, complex analytical process capable of understanding phenomena at societal level, at human level, and also aimed at creating simulation of our society can react to some, to some uh, phenomena, event, impact. So Big Data is also aimed at uh, serving uh, public administrators, political scientists that want to explore the future, given the understanding of current society, thanks to the analysis of Big Data and the various dimensions of social life. So next steps will be trying to embrace other cutting-edge research that so far are on the agenda of many scientific communities collaborating with big data. In particular, one of the topics that we are interested in is how to study what is the societal impact of uh, the artificial intelligence uh, technology and uh, how to make such technology understandable by humans trying to remove the opacity that sometimes are behind some algorithms that are used in many decision-making, automatic decision-making systems. The, the so big data uh, research infrastructure is making important contributions to training and education. If I were to highlight three uh, important elements, First, I would point to our virtual research environment. This is a, a resource for data scientists, students, researchers, the world over really, and it allows them to access everything from uh, uh, virtual kind of learning and working environments, tools, platforms, data sets, training modules, all drawn from uh, the partners within the, the, the So Big Data network. The second that I would point to would be training the, an education uh, that's aimed at non-traditional users. So this would be more for social science and humanities researchers. I can give you one example. We ran, uh, we ran a, a, a hackathon that allowed uh, uh, humanities and social science researchers to delve into the uh, data infrastructure of uh, mobile phone applications. This is really important because it gives a kind of an added level of expertise and grounding in order to explore important social and cultural impacts and ramifications of big data as it's playing out across our society. And the third in a related way is focusing on issues around gender and diversity. As it happens, we've held both uh, a, a hackathon in London and a program in Pisa, both that looked at different aspects of journalism. In Pisa, it was data journalism for students, which had uh, a focus on, on uh, female high school students. And in London, we looked at computational analysis of fake news, and we did that partnering with a group uh, called Our Ladies, which is a, 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 an organization for women that are interested in coding and big data. These are areas that uh, we hope to continue to strengthen going forward so that so big data can generate a, a more dynamic and ongoing uh, dialogue with society at large around these key issues. At Sobi Data, we are trying to put uh, the ethical issue and the privacy at the first place. So we are trying to implement uh, all the privacy techniques that are available in order to ensure to the users, to the individual describing the data, that uh, their privacy is uh, um, protected and we want to also, we believe that it's very important to ensure uh, uh, privacy guarantee and also to ensure transparency to individuals. And we want to uh, push a lot uh, also in the direction of the awareness. So we believe that to create awareness, it's a very important point, uh, a very important mission for this, uh, this project. 
As an example, in this direction, uh, SOB Data, we develop uh, an online training course, uh, which is named FAIR, in order to try to uh, explain the basic uh, about uh, ethical uh, problematics uh, and also data protection regulation uh, and some hint uh, about intellectual property in order to spread uh, this, uh, this awareness and uh, make uh, a new generation of responsible data scientists. The idea of the transnational access in so big data is um, to give opportunity for young researchers and um, establishing career academics uh, to engage with uh, the so big data project, learn more about big, big data science, learn about analytics and how to use that in practice. Uh, we're not just focusing on computer scientists here, but we're looking wider at other disciplines like political science, data journalism, um, humanities, social sciences, um, economics and uh, so on. And uh, it's very, very important because it gives us uh, opportunity to work in multi in multidisciplinary setting, as well as to uh, enlarge our own community with other researchers going beyond the immediate um, computer scientists, which are members of the SOBIC data project. Uh, then it's also a unique opportunity for us to engage and learn about practical problems in other settings from other disciplines and see how then we can develop methods that can be applicable for that. Um, and the uh, whole opportunity is enriching both for the uh, people undergoing transnational access as well as for us. And ultimately, hopefully, we're growing the pool of available data scientists, uh, which is currently a shortage occupation of key importance to society and economics as a whole.